I always get the wonderful job of welcoming everybody, and I always get the opportunity to welcome people all around the world. So wel welcome everybody. Wel welcome everybody around the world. We're glad you're here. What's going to happen tonight I see as a catalyst, OK? I see it as something that's going to help us as a company go from maybe crawling to walking, getting ready to run. And, 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 it's, and it's taken us a lot of hard work to get here. It's taken a lot of hard work from a lot of people who are watching via camera today. I was in an interview the other day, and I was asked a question. It was a very interesting question. I, was sort of, I had to think about it for a minute. They said, why is everything you guys do so hard? Everything is hard. Everything is difficult. Everything is, why is everything you do so hard? And, and I, I, I sort of didn't know how to answer. I had to step back and think about it for a minute. So I did. I stepped back and I thought about it for a minute. And here's the reason why everything we do is so hard. Because everything we do is impossible. <laughs> th th think about that just for a minute, OK? Four years ago. Hi, I'm going to build an electric car that'll go 0 to 60 in under four seconds, go over 200 miles on a single charge, and look great. Impossible. Until Tesla did it. Then as soon as that gets done, we say, well, let's, let's, let's build a four-door sedan. Let's make it even bigger. And let's, and let's, make, it, let's, let's, make, it, let's make it go even further on a single charge. And let's make it seat seven. Well. That's impossible until the people watching this video decided to do it. That's the only way it's possible. Well, well let's, let's go buy a factory. Let's go buy a whole bunch of robots. Let's buy a whole new team. Let's go get a whole new team, build a whole new car, and let's ramp up to 20,000 units in a six-month period. Impossible, but that's what we're going to do. Let's go open stores and shopping centers. Let's go open stores and shopping centers, and let's do our damnedest not to sell anybody anything. <laughs> and let's get a whole bunch of reservations doing it. Well, that's impossible. So the point is, the reason why it's so hard sometimes for what we're doing is because everything we do is impossible. It's impossible. And so, what happens now, though, and what I can feel in my bones is that, well, we, we've, we've got the car. We've got a team at the factory that's extraordinary. We've got a sales team and a service team around the world that are doing extraordinary things. And you can start to feel this vibration. You can start to feel something about to happen. Okay? And we're ramping up, and it's starting to work, and we're starting to gel. And things are starting to happen at the factory and in the stores and with the customers. And here's what you have to think about. And here's what we go to work with every day. And I think as customers, we look for you to understand is that we're not doing this for September, October, November of this year. We're not, we're not doing this for this year or next year, the next two years. That is not. <laughs> Stick with me. Stick with me. What's happening here is bigger than that. It's bigger. What we're doing this for is your children, your grandchildren, their children. Some of them are here. This is what we're doing this for. And tonight, I believe firmly that the catalyst that will launch all of this in the same direction is going to happen tonight. I believe it. Tonight is the catalyst. And there's one other thing that we need. Okay, there's one other thing that we need to have as a company. One other thing is we need a leader. We need somebody who makes sure we stay on track, who makes sure that we don't waver, who makes sure we maintain and go straight forward into what needs to be done every single day. And it is my pleasure tonight to introduce the person who every day makes sure that we're thinking about your children, your grandchildren, and their children. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elon Musk. Yeah. All yours. You. All right. Well, wel welcome again, everybody. Um, we really wanted to do this in New York as a, a small gesture of support for a city that, that got hit pretty, pretty hard. So we're really excited to be here. Um, 
This has been an incredibly uh, uh, long and difficult journey. It's, there's been an enormous amount of um, blood, sweat, and tears uh, for, from the Tesla team. People have worked it, it, it's super hard. I mean, really, so many seven-day weeks, it's uh, we've lost count. Um, because it is incredibly difficult to, to create a, a car company of, of any kind, and then um, to create an electric car company, I think adds some, some additional difficulty. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and then, and then the, the, the economy would, did not make it easier. Um, so, uh, so it's definitely been a, been a fair bit of bludgeoning along the way. Um, but I, I think I'm, I'm super excited to be where we are today. I think we're actually at a pivotal turning point in history. Um, and I, th I think it'll be recognized as that for the future. This is something that is important, uh, not, not just for Tesla or for the Model S, but for electric cars in general. Um, I think this is going to be recognized as the, as the key sort of turning point when electric cars really became the best product. Um, and, and, that, and that's what's critical for, for mass adoption. Um, you know, obviously, we need to do more, more, more in the future. We need to make uh, lower cost cars. We need to ramp up production. Uh, we want to supply powertrains to other car companies. All of those things uh, must be done. Uh, but I think, I think what we've, what's been achieved here for the first time is to create uh, an electric car that truly is the best car of any kind. That's really the key thing. Um, and in order to, to, to achieve that, um, it, did, it did take an, an, an awesome team uh, in terms of uh, powertrain engineering, vehicle engineering, uh, manufacturing. Uh, we actually build the Model S. Uh, from scratch. I mean, raw, raw aluminum coils and plastic comes in and out come cars. So it, it's, it's been pretty tough, and, uh, it, but, but, but quite, quite rewarding. And I'd just like to thank the, the whole Tesla team. Um, and it, it really it, it goes to, to the finance team, uh, obviously sales and service, and, and, and everyone at Tesla. Um, thank you guys for working so hard to make this happen. Because it's, been, it's being beamed to, to the Tesla team back home. So I just want to say thanks. Um, yeah. And, uh, and, and then I'd like to, to thank, thank, thank all you guys for, for um, your support over the years, all, all of our Tesla customers. Um, you know, I really feel like we're, we're like a you know, small kind of rebel group, and it's, uh, we're, we're outnumbered, we're outgunned. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's, pretty, it's pretty, you know, usually when, in situations like that, bad things happen to, to <laughs> It's usually not a happy ending, I should point out. Uh, but I, th I think this is gonna this is gonna be one of those happy endings. We've, we've certainly been been attacked in a, in, in a number of venues. Um, so uh, uh, yeah, it's like one of the presidential candidates I think said something. Um, you know, and I think I said something to the effect like Tesla's a loser or something like that. Um, yeah. Well. But yeah, it, it, yeah it, true. It, in retrospect, it seems he, he was right about the, the object of that statement, but not the subject. <laughs> right. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really proud that we've been able to create uh, 3,500 jobs in the United States. Um, so... And, 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 and adding more, uh, and... Uh, and, and doing, doing really sort of hardcore manufacturing. I actually love, I love manufacturing. I think it's a really building solid objects that deliver value to people. I think is, is really, really a great thing. I think we should do more of that in this country. So. Yeah. Um, so, so, so with that, I, um, I, uh, there, there's a video that I'd like to show you. So, so let's, uh, let's roll the video. What is Motor Trend's 2013 Car of the Year? Well, it is one of America's quickest four-door sedans ever built. But it's not a sports car. It is as smooth and effortless as a Rolls-Royce, but it's not a $500,000 luxury limousine either. No, our Car of the Year carries nearly as much gear as a Ford Explorer, yet it is more high-tech and efficient than the latest Prius plug-in. So just what is Motor Trend's 2013 Car of the Year? The electrifying Tesla Model S.
Motor Trend has been awarding Car of the Year since 1949, and for the first time in 64 years, we've selected a car that doesn't run on gasoline or even have a traditional internal combustion engine. But the fact that the Model S is an electric car is not the reason it is Motor Trend's Car of the Year. When compared against our award's six key criteria, the Model S stood out in each and every category. Take advancement in design. The Model S has a clean, aerodynamic profile that cheats the wind with an incredibly low 0.24 drag coefficient. But it's not some eco-mobile with tiny wheels and dorky proportions. It's wide, long, low, and looks great, especially from the rear. Inside, our judges were struck by the open, airy cabin, the incredible packaging efficiency, and that 17-inch touchscreen, which says as much about the car's design as its engineering excellence. Tesla claims over 250 patents on the Model S and has more pending. You can't see much of this patented technology, but you can certainly feel it. In base trim, a 362 horsepower electric motor sends the aluminum intensive Model S rocketing down the road. The high performance version with its 416 horsepower motor is even quicker, as fast as 3.9 seconds to 60. And it's quick through the corners. The floor mounted battery pack keeps the weight down low and gives the Model S a center of gravity that rivals a 4GT supercar. Unlike most supercars, however, the Model S is incredibly fuel efficient. Over 313 miles of road loops during Car of the Year, the 85 kilowatt hour Model S averaged the electric equivalent of 74.5 miles per gallon. And that was with normal speeds with the air conditioning running. The best energy consumption figures we've returned is the electric equivalent of 118 miles per gallon for a 212 mile run from the edge of Los Angeles to Las Vegas. As far as range anxiety goes, we've not only validated the EPA's 265 mile range rating, we've exceeded it. I personally drove a Tesla Model S 285 miles from Las Vegas back to Los Angeles on a single charge. Now when it comes to safety, the Model S has all of the features you'd expect in a modern car. Airbags, ABS, and stability control. Now despite all of this high-tech engineering and the futuristic powertrain, the Model S does make a compelling value statement. The Model S delivers everything you'd expect of a premium sedan. It's fast, handles well, yet delivers a smooth and quiet ride. Tesla founder Elon Musk has often stated that his goal wasn't to build the world's best electric car, but to build the world's best car that just happens to be electric. Well, we believe he has, which is why the Tesla Model S is Motor Trend's 2013 Car of the Year. I really want to congratulate Elon. I want to congratulate the entire Tesla team, especially everybody who's watching this right now. We had a long discussion about this, like, you know, how can Tesla follow up winning Car of the Year on the first time they actually built one from scratch? Um, that's the challenge. Um, that's impossible. Right, exactly. What Lex is coming soon. Right. So uh, one of the things I really need to impress upon you is how significant the, the award is and how, you know, we you know, we do things here. The, the video was really all about the vehicle and, and why it won, but uh, some of the things you need to know is that the process for us, uh, we've refined over many years. It takes about 10 days, and it's about three phases. Uh, the first phase starts on a Monday, ends on a Friday, and it, it involves, in this case, 45 vehicles being shipped to a proving ground up in uh, Mojave, California. Um, there are 25 vehicles uh, that are new or significantly improved in the model uh, 2013 year. Uh, but we brought 45 out because we do things like bring out variants. So, you know, the Honda Accord was new, but we didn't just bring one Honda Accord. We brought the Accord uh, V6 coupe, we brought the four cylinder with the CVT, and we brought the four cylinder with the manual transmission. So we're, we're incredibly detail oriented. We go through all as many models as we can get our hands on, which is why it's so exhausting. So for the first five days, those vehicles are tested, they're photographed, uh, we run video, obviously. And uh, we get all of the motor trend numbers, 0 to 60, quarter mile, you know, handling, braking, the whole nine yards. Then Friday night, 11 judges come in. They fly in from Detroit, from our home office in El Segundo, 
And uh, over the next two days, Saturday and Sunday, we endeavored to drive all 45 vehicles around the proving grounds, multiple test tracks. There's an oval of about six miles. There's a winding track of about two and a half miles. Uh, there's a VDA for all sorts of limit handling techniques. And then there's an area of special services where we can test things like noise, vibration, and harshness. So that takes two days, and that, the purpose of that part is really just to figure out what is not car of the year. We jump into a conference room, we duke it out, we argue, a lot of fist fighting going on between our, our 11 judges, but we come away from that group with typically between eight to 10 uh, contenders. This year we had 11 because we had such a strong field. So we had 11 judges, and we took 11 finalists onto the next stage. And that's a three-day process from roughly Monday to Wednesday where we drive all 11 finalists on real-world roads. And we took them around the Tehachapi, Willow Springs area, which is in, uh, very close to Mojave, around a, about a 30-mile road loop. And uh, this is done over two days. And then we, again, jump into a conference room and duke it out. The interesting thing that you need to know about this year is that the field was so strong. We had a Porsche 911 as a finalist. We had the all-new Ford Fusion. We had the Accord. Uh, we had the Ford C-Max. Uh, we had a number of very, very strong contenders from you know, historic, very large brands in our industry. So you know, no slouches in this group. But when it came time to voting, the vehicles that placed second and third, nobody received any more than three votes. That's how, that's how strong the field was. Second and third didn't get more than three votes. The winner, by unanimous decision, Tesla Model S. First time that anybody on our staff can remember it being unanimous. The closest we had was about nine to two. So this is a very significant for us. And again, in the 64-year history of the award, it has never gone to a car that didn't run on gasoline. So, yeah. I'd like to now invite very briefly uh, our judges up to the stage. This is for the media and all of you interested owners. If you want to talk to, we have five of them here. Um, coming up first is Chris Theodore. He's our guest judge, formerly a Ford and a Chrysler executive, very knowledgeable industry veteran. So, it's Chris. The Frank Marcus, our technical director of Motor Trend. Angus McKenzie, former editor, editor at large, chief, market, uh, chief uh, content officer for our company. And Johnny Lieberman, senior features editor. For those of the media gathered here, if you want to talk to any, oh, sorry, and Kim Reynolds, our testing director, Justin, so good to see you, Kim. Um, in charge of all the numbers and all the stuff that we tested out there. So for all the assembled media, if you want to talk to anybody from Motor Trend, we all have a nice little caliper lapel pin, you can come find us afterwards. So, thank you. And now, I think it's time to hand over uh, the, the goods to Elon. So, oh, it's where the engine would be. So, uh, there we go. There we go. Congratulations, Elon. Thank you. Very well deserved. Yeah. Well, thank you. I accept this obviously on behalf of uh, all of the employees of Tesla. Um, you guys rock. Thank you. I think we've, um, about, we've said about as much as there, 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 there is to say, um, but I, I, I really think this is uh, going to be looked back and this is sort of a point at which the gears of history moved um, and, uh, and I, it's going to be an important day. Obviously we've got, to, we've, we've got to stay the course and we've got to ramp up production, like I said, and make uh, the next generation vehicle, make them affordable, that's obviously incredibly important. Um, and, um, uh, but, but I think, uh, I think uh, I'm hopeful that, that other car companies will, will in fact copy us and, and, and follow through and, and do electric car programs uh, with greater vigor as a result of this award. So that, that's, that's the, the thing I hope, I hope will most occur as a result of this. 
Um, so once again, thank you very much for coming, and it's, uh, it's really been, been great. Thank you. Yeah.